now, tomorrow, I think it's on Practice Music. It's a new single from the band Squid. It's produced once again by Dan Carey. I think he did both tracks on this record, uh, Squid and uh, House it's Plants. How do you think? It's all right, it's isn't it? I like it. Yeah, it was good. It was one of the reasons I put it in in the programme just before you mm. came on, because I thought you might fancy that. Damon Albarn, how are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Paul Simonon, how are you? Hello. Yeah, very well, thanks. And what are you, are you better tell us a little bit about, because last time we saw you was down at uh, your gaff, uh, and it was just before you were going off to do those tiny little tour dates. Yeah. And what were they what, 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 what were they like? Because well, that, my, my cousin Kev came along to one day. You met him, I think, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. And, but the, earlier in the day, he'd, he'd taken a video of him walking from his house, which was, you know, like, I don't know, about half a mile. Might, well, not in, even, in time for colour codes. Colour codes. Right. And they're very it, close together very anyway, close. really. Right. So. Well, colour codes, he only lived about 400, 500 yards down the road. And he sent us a video saying, and here's the ice cream shop, here's the chip shop, and that's where they're playing later yeah. on. No, amazing. they were fantastic. Fan, they, they were a fantastic uh, three nights, weren't they? Yeah, no. I mean, what, uh, we, what a bob, we were spoiled to be on a beautiful part of the world. Yeah, I mean, really. How did you choose these places? Where to? Well, where to it all came Random. about because I suggest we should do some places, play some, perform at some places that were sort of bit, bit off the beaten track. And I actually said, "Can we sort of?" Uh, I said, "Well, what about Whitby?" And the reason I said Whitby, because I've got some family that are originally from that part of the world. Right. And I thought, it'll give me a chance to sort of catch up on some of my roots. Right. But then I sort of saw on the list, it said Whitley. And I go, no, maybe they just spelt it wrong, but it was actually a different place. But yes, anyway, yeah. it was fine. We had different a lovely coast, time. <laughs> but actually, in Colour Coast, there's actually quite a big artistic community. Right, right. About 100, 150 years ago. And uh, so, yeah, it's got quite a history. But it looked so dramatic on the on the day because it's right on the coast. It was right you know on what? the coast, you know wasn't it? It, it? it was. It was extraordinary. We stayed in in the hotel, which is right on the kind of cliff. Right. right? Yeah. And uh, I swear, I kid you not, there were f- maybe five rainbows that day. Really? Oh, man. And so we went down to, what's it called again, that place that you go down, that, that shack? Yeah, there's a shack R- on the Riley's. beach. Is it Riley's? I think maybe. I, I hope I've got that name right. Right. Because it's a fantastic, it's just, you, you can only get down there by by going right down onto the beach, but it's not like a, it's a, it's, 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 it's a, a sheltered beach with cliffs, so you have to, you have to, it's quite a long walk, and yeah. you can't drive down there or no, anything, and no. it's just, it's just this amazing shack, really. Where shack on the beach. Delicious, delicious. Food. You can get oysters, you can get, in fact, the, the, I hope and Sheikis what? doesn't mind this, but the, the Sheikis is quite a popular seafood restaurant in London, and they are supposed to be the best, but up in colour coats, yeah, time they're of, be- the fish yeah, was even better. better. And really? Yeah. You can you can have a bit of lunch yeah. and uh, watch rainbows form and dissipate, which is uh, and I, I I walk round I walk round the head uh, at low tide and I found a bit of sea coal, uh, which is quite rare these days, and uh, it had this incredible uh, drawing on it. I don't know how old it is, but mm. I kind of researched it, and there is a sort of history of fishermen from the beginning of fishing in that area. Um, kind of um, drawing on pieces of stone, or in this in this case, uh, sea coal, and then kind of as as a sort of uh, as a sort of uh, votive to to the the gods of the sea. Yeah. So it might be really old, but it was yeah. it's extraordinary the combination of the rainbows finding this this be- beautiful stone with this drawing on it, might and playing the these play, 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 playing these uh, working men's clubs. We we're, we're looking quizzical. No, because that, that might have been the bit of coal that I was drawing on and threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> no, joking. <laughs> well, no, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but anyway, you were saying. <laughs> so it was, so it was, um, that was a good sign. Then you went on and you did, all, uh, you did another run of dates, you know, including Blackpool. And, yeah, well, uh, we played at the end of the, the North the North Pier. And how was that? Oh, incredible. As romantic as it sounds, it should be. Well, it's almost like, um, well, I mean, the day we went for the sound check, sound check the, it was like there was storm, was every, every, yeah. big storm and waves. And, yeah, and mass, the, massive storm. The colour of the sky and the sea was just not a normal colour. And as we were and it sound looked check- like this forlorn little, little island on its own. <laughs> and as we were sound checking... There was these the huge, great sort of sub thumps on the bottom of the, of the pier, and that was the waves hitting the bottom of the pier. They were, and water was coming through the dressing room, 
Right. Uh, um, not on the, the, the day that we actually did the gig. Uh, it was a lovely day. It was a lovely day. But, oh, it's so atmospheric. Yeah. And it's, I mean, the family that r- run the piers, I have to thank them again for helping us sort of... Because we, 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 we turned up there, like, two years earlier, 18 months earlier, and we were just snooping. We were just snooping around, uh, just... Tw- wanted to go onto the pier to yeah, have a we look can't, we closed kind of, in, in Yeah, the we kind of season. got onto the pier without permission, and we were snooping around, and then this window opened, and they're going, Oi, what excuse are you doing? Me? Yeah, excuse me, can we help you? <laughs> uh, and... Uh, yeah, f- from from that kind of moment, you know, they were they, their they, enthusiasm let us fantastic. say, "Oh, come on, come and have a look." And, yeah. and so. we, we 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 met Trevor Raven, uh, who plays the organ um, at the end of the pier, and now he's kind of sort of he's on tour with us. He's played he played all the gigs that we did. Really? Yeah, he's he's going to be playing when we play. Uh, uh, well, I don't suppose he'll be playing at. Uh, the festival have we announced that yet the, the my, is that are you coming to that we'll, we'll come we'll come back to it we'll come back to it everyone live? everyone knows are we live? Oh, yeah oh, we are oh, we are live yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> well um, so, that one that one. Then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry Next. about that no but uh apart but when we play like when we play the palladium and all those gigs we're going to do yeah um, he's going to be he's fantastic he's just the most oh, amazing I, most amazing amazing experience the the trevor raven experience is, I, is, is what well, you see that's something else we'll come back to that in a second as yeah. well because you're playing friday night at the london palladium yes. how about that i know that's um, i've that. always wanted to play at the london palladium i remember when i was a kid going there with the school and it was what amazed me was that obviously it's all gilt and gold and drapes and but in the seats tucked in front of you was these little binoculars that you could sort of yes. use to watch the yeah. whole thing i Do don't they still they, have those no i think our school took <coughs> half of them <laughs> But, um, yeah, what an amazing place to perform. Just before we talk about uh, your appearance at the festival and what uh, your connections with uh, Liverpool, how over those gigs, those uh, smaller gigs, did, I mean, those songs must have shown themselves in various different lights then, in the different well, atmospheres, I mean, the in the different thing, rooms. The mad, thing and, was, the mad thing was, the first three gigs were, were very much us kind of just getting to know the stage again, really, yeah. and, and seeing if the songs we, we, we could articulate what was on the record but by the time we got to um uh blackpool i mean uh, honestly the the whole audience was singing all the words of all the songs which was extraordinary because it it was out that week as well it yeah. was that was really i've never i've never experienced that before and to, uh, never experienced before and also the sort of the fact that it's quite there's quite a lot of words made it even more kind yeah, of yeah. extraordinary really to me that that, that was happening so yeah. and we ha- and we had uh, our our um our choir from north wales who all turned up so backstage was just the most brilliant place it was <laughs> yeah. like 60 60 welsh um male singers and the band and uh trevor yeah. Raven. I mean, that's, a, that's not a bad gang, is it? Well, it's quite interesting. Very good gang. It's a very good gang. Uh, very good gang. Joy, joyful gang. Yeah. During the show, yeah. we were performing, and uh, and then suddenly behind us, the backdrop lifted up to reveal another <coughs> backdrop, plus 60 blokes standing there, with, <laughs> uplit by the light. Yeah. And you could hear a gasp in the audience. They thought it was some sort of hologram, but then they realised, actually, no, these <laughs> are real and people. Then, and, then, yeah. and, and then another... And, uh, 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 and, and another cursing was revealed, and there was a giant sooty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> um, this, uh, as I mentioned, well, including the London Palladium, there's more dates coming up after uh, an appearance at the Six Music Festival, which is in Liverpool, which is one of the places which you visited when you. Because uh, uh, not everyone probably knows this, but you you sort of went on a little. I don't know, field trip, really. Well, more like a pilgrimage, like a really. pilgrimage yeah. around to various parts of the country. Which yeah, places sort of that I'd never... Well, and Liverpool, I'd been in Liverpool loads of times, yeah. but, but, but a lot of... Yeah, I mean, but, visited which, a lot of, lot of places like St Albans, Banbury. Uh, I'd been to South End a lot as a kid. Yeah. But I hadn't been back there for a long... Well, I hadn't been back there since... Uh, Oh, blimey, since we played the pink toothbrush with Blur, <laughs> which would have been 19... Yeah. Goodness knows, uh, 90? And we've been back, back no. quite a lot there. I mean, yeah. I've, we've 
become very, but, very, very kind of fond of the of the uh, peer train. But you did this uh, to try uh, essentially yeah, taking right. a sort of litmus test of you know the the mood of various parts of the country, to, yeah, which helps yeah, inform yeah. the record a little bit. Well, yeah, my yeah. Uh, the record is an emotional response to yeah. what is still <laughs> sort of uh, revealing itself as 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 our madness. Yeah, you know. We, uh, and when say you so you go to Liverpool, did you we did you have a plan when you got to Liverpool, or did you just wander and just go yeah where no no I mean, a lot a, a lot of just idling about and just walking around and then kind of getting lost and yeah going around in circles i did a lot of going around in circles <laughs> yeah uh and did a lot of writing um took a lot of photographs yeah and did you go when you were in liverpool you went to the cathedral though i did you? i was... did the anglican cathedral mm. which is uh you know i it's a mad place because I mean I don't think it was finished until the seventies, right? No, it must have cost so much money. I mean, it's the most magnificent gothic. Looks like a cake, to, a Milton. cake that should be in sort of Milan or something. But it's got some re 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 really uh, quite sort of uh, uh, strange sort of mausoleum kind of esque. Because they're not more Sims. They're, I'm, I'm missing a word, which is terrible on live radio, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Don't worry, we all do that. Not to choose from <laughs> the the memorials, the the sort of the 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 to, to the great and good the, the of Liverpool, right. and I suppose that there's a sort of a real kind of gothic sense, which is connected to the to the uh, the castle that we. We recorded the choir in, in in North Wales, which is also a kind of sort of. Uh, I mean, the cathedral is not a, is 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 not it's not a, um, a Victorian build, but it's definitely informed by that period, and the castle was a sort of mid Victorian. Mm. But but this kind of this darkness and this this gothic atmosphere that these buildings have, which is sort of so connected to our colonial wealth, and mm. you know, and so 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 there was a real link to that side of this emotional mess we're in yeah. you know because i mean yeah, well, that, that, that yeah. definitely is part of what of, of what what we're kind of living through at the moment is that sort of post post colonial kind of last gasp in yeah a way. so it's hits so liverpool's history is a port you mean and, and yeah, it's, liverpool's yeah, history it's the same is, like bristol yeah. and places like that yeah yeah but yeah, it was yeah. only the other day that a, so, an yeah. island of mauritius was handed back well supposedly handed back to the mauritians right um i was thought mauritius was no but there's an island that was taken time. over by the british and the americans oh, uh, using in, as an air air base right 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 and, right uh, anyway recently it's deemed um well, to there's, be, oh, there's a lot of those little islands uh, yes i know we're, we're aware of little <laughs> islands well yeah. we live on one for a start <laughs> oh, yeah um liverpool is a as a i don't know some sort of dynamo for 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 British music, it, it's sort of. I think every so often it really oh, it, yeah, it ch turns out an amazing bunch. But what, what, one of the, one of the things very, that I, it's a very musical city. Yeah, I mean, but also, it, of, it, I tell you, one of it's innately musical. I think. Yeah, but also full of people who. The one of the things about Liverpool music in various you know waves as it's come is that everyone well, it seems just a little bit and in a good way slightly disconnected to everything that's going on around them. You know, even during punk, there was a there's. It's full yeah. of mavericks, yeah, isn't it? If you go back, Cope, Bill Drummond, uh, Pete Lee Wiley, Maverick. you know, <laughs> and, and Jimmy Corkill, <laughs> and Jimmy Corkill. I met uh, but, Jimmy Corkill there once, and, uh, and it was quite strange. It was a Tracy Emin event, and uh, we went, and she said, "Oh, look, this is Jimmy Cork." Well, whatever he's, I can't remember his real name. So anyway, we, he said, "Oh, come on, let's all go to the pub." So we walked to the pub passing heading towards this down these alleyways where basically there were girls in really short s skirts with sort of pizza boxes on their heads freezing cold <laughs> and uh, and and he was sort of where's Hulk me and tracy was holding him up and because he's a bit sloshed and basically people's doors were opening like christ was sort of walking through town you know it was like the resurrection or something and it's like anyway we carried him into the the pub and then he got kicked out because he touched somebody's bottom or something. Oh, but uh, anyway, that's sort of quite a, a unique experience. 
walking with uh, the Brookside's I, I mean, Christ. Obviously, I, I can't, I can't vouch for the truthfulness of the, the, the actual factual correctness of this uh, of this anecdote. But there you go. I tell you what, well, I will do, listeners. Um, so this is true. This, 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 this uh, if you, if it's making no sense to you, is your perfect uh, time uh, or opportunity to look up Brookside, the great lost soap of the eighties. Uh, we're running out of time. Um, just uh, tell us a little bit about um, the set. Is it all sort of sorted out now, then? So it's all you know what you're doing. Uh, Pretty much, it doesn't change. No, I think I think I think I think the first time we played just the, the Maryland in in the complete album, then we played a few other songs. I think this time we're probably yeah, we'll see. We uh, we uh, just have to feel it out. Really, is probably the best way to, to approach it. Yeah, I mean, basically, we need to play both our albums. <laughs> <laughs> Some of which, Unless, uh, otherwise we digress into like, you know, playing the Clash or uh, some some of the other rubbish band. Um, the Good, the Bad, and the Queen are one of uh, not the your bands. band's rubbish. I was no, 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 I know what you're referring to. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they are one of the bands who are headlining at uh, the Six <laughs> Music Festival at one of the gigs, and uh, tickets for that particular gig will be on sale on Thursday morning. Thank you very much for coming in. We'll see you in Liverpool then. Yeah, I mean, thank yeah. you very much for for. I mean, it's uh, it feels like I should have been singing it this month, but and I'm really keen to sing those songs again. And uh, I don't know, it, but I, I don't know if, if they've connected with people. But oh, I suppose I, we will find out. We will. Uh, this is one of the songs, and this, the session version from uh, our show back in November last year. It's The Good, The Bad and The Queen, and this is Maryland. Thank you, boys.